Mr. Harris dropping a brand new RetroPie 4.4. 128 gigabyte image. He has his theme that he built himself, the Super Displace theme, which is an awesome theme. It looks just like a track mode, but the theme itself is also in a track mode theme as well, so you can port it either way. And on this particular image, we have both Emulation Station and the uh, a track mode. So, to get started, this one is just fully loaded. You could also just go download this theme and apply it to your own RetroPie build, but it will not have all these games on it. But having a little peep at this image, I know you guys are going to like it, especially this pre-done one, because it's got a ton of games and a ton of systems and a ton of the must-have games, I must say. Like, this guy has some good taste, so let's check it out. So here we are in the image. It's a total of 13,113 games. Pretty pretty massive collection there. For those of you wondering about the file size, it is approximately, if you right click, 114 gigabytes. So it'll fit almost all 128 gigabyte SD cards. Typically these images are 119 gigabytes. So it's five gigabytes less than a lot of the other ones out there. And then as far as bytes, it's 123 billion. 272 million, 60,000, about 61,000. Okay, so fits well, ton of games. You can see some of his favorites here. And let's just go ahead and, and, and check this out. Um, before we get into the games, there are some scripts installed, which is really nice, and it does have a track mode. So background music script, a lot of David Marty scripts installed here, collection script, gameless utility script, launching screen script. Um, reset your controller config script, bezel script, um, RetroPie jukebox configuration, um, and then you got your track mode and you got the system info script as well. So cool to see that. And then when we get into the games here, let's start at arcade. And with the arcade, we have 2,315 games. And it looks like this does have a screenshot and a video snap. Looking pretty good. So he's got a setup where it shows you in the arcade. It shows you like the intro screen and then it goes into the game, which I could see this being really cool, especially on a bar top build, because uh, it'll look, it is the like, kind of thing you want to look at when you're going through the games is, you know, a little screen and then the, uh, the actual video file. It's going to look great when we go into track mode later in the video. Neo Geo making a big comeback right now with the Neo Geo Mini. And here you go. Nice big red room with all your Neo Geo favorites, 148. Atari 2600, 648. Atari 5200, 72. So those of you that want a little 5200, it's got it. 7800, 58. Atari Lynx Portable, 75. Coley, Co, Vision, 140. Intellivision, 121. Vetrix, 23. Family Computer System, 364. Family Computer Disk System, 189. Super Famicon, 464. So you get a little box art and into the game. So there are video snaps on this image. 778 Nintendos. And he has them split up. There are going to be your hacks on here as well. So these are just all your official releases. And as we get down this list, you're going to see there are hacks on here as well. Super Nintendo Entertainment System 790. So here you go. And it's emulation station, so you can like jump to a letter very easily by hitting select on your controller and going down. Nintendo 64, only 52 games. I imagine he's picking games that run. But nowadays with the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and the latest emulator, you know, all these games are going to run just fine. But as you see, box art into video snap. So some good games here. Mario Kart, great game. Mario Party, great game. So some good games here. Really nice stuff. Virtual Boy, 20. BSX, Satellaview, you got those games as well. 113. Sufami Turbo. Got these games as well. And video snaps, it looks like nice. Uh, Technos 16. Man, he really scraped the heck out of this thing. Got them all. Game & Watch 52. That's the first time I've seen a Game & Watch uh, full screen. Different, uh, different artwork there. Game Boy 565. Let's just load a game really quick, see what we're rocking with stock. And uh, there you have it. So a nice, not too stretched out, but a really basic Nintendo. 
and uh, this is nice resolution here. It's not too if it's if it's full screen or 4.3, it's a little too big on the portables. So having the reduced resolution there looks good. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced. Let's go ahead and uh, check out another game here. So some nice Game Boy Advanced bezels as well. Very nice, looking good. Nintendo DS, I mean I just did a video not too long ago with a Nintendo DS collection on there. Good to see. There's some great Nintendo DS games out there and uh, they run just great. Mario Hoops. SG-1058, Sega Mark III, 70, Sega Master System 273, Tech Toy Master System 30, with video snaps, nice. Sega Genesis 769, Sega Mega Drive 190, Sega 32X 33, Sega CD, only 24, he's saving a little bit of space here. But I've noticed this with a few of the systems here, he's just giving the best of the best. And uh, I gotta say, he's got, he's got good... Uh, Good taste. You're going to find a lot of good stuff. Dreamcast, nice to see. Uh, tw uh, 13 games. Dead or Alive 2. Jet Grind Radio. Legacy of Kane. Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2. Marvel Comic Gold. Power Stone 1 and 2. Soul Calibur. Street Fighter 3. And Sword of Berserk. Very nice. Good selection. Game Gear 248. PlayStation 120. Good on him. He's still able to get a ton on there. So in case you're wondering about the PlayStation collection, we can go through here really quickly. Gran Turismo 1 and 2. Nice to see. Usually people only put one of those. Pepsi Man's on there. Nice. Spyro the Dragon. Great game. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. And Wu-Tang. PSP. We've got, uh, what did it say, six, six games. Final Fantasy VII, Half Minute Man, Half Minute Hero, Mega Man Powered Up, Prinny, Street Fighter Alpha, and Zuma. Those should all run, no problem. PSP Minis, you've all seen those before. It has a total of, oh, only ten. Who is that flying? Where is my heart? Velocity Vector, Monsters, Hungry Giraffe, Flying Hamster, Age of, Zam Age of Zombies, a space shooter for two bucks. Nice. We need some we need some three two one super crash on there, but other than that, awesome. PC Engine two eighty eight, PC Engine CD eleven, nice to see. R type complete, Super Graphics five, pretty standard. Turbo Graphics sixteen ninety four, Turbo Graphics CD eleven, cool to see. And you also get the um, you also getting the um, video snaps on here, which is nice. Neo Geo Pocket. 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color 40, Wonder Swan 110, Wonder Swan Color 91, Amiga 122, Amiga CD, nice to see, 30 games there. I know a lot of people are going to be excited for this. So Rise of the Robots, pretty cool. Soccer Kid. Ultimate Body Blows. Cool. CPC Amstrad. Atari ST. Nice to see. Commodore 6447. MSX 518. MSX2. MSX2 Plus. Texas Instruments. The TI-99 Calculator. Or TI-99 Computer. Uh, Dig Dug is on there, E.T., Frogger, all those classics. You have Sharp 68000, Odyssey 2, 81, Sharp as 101, Infocom 3, ZX Sinclair 375, Scum VM, I have to say these are probably my favorite Scum VM games that he chose here, so all worth checking out. PC games, this is pretty cool. Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 3Ds. Uh, add-on, Super Mario World War, that's an add-on, uh, Streets of Rage Remake, Quake Mission Pack 1 and 2, Quake 3 Arena, Keyboard Required, Quake Episode 5, Quake, Beats of Rage Engine, Duke Nukem 3D, Doom 2, Doom, The Plutonium Experiment, Doom TNT, Doom Cave Story, Cannonball, Brutal Doom. Uh, Cave Story again, and then you got your hacks game. So Nintendo Hacks 14, Super Nintendo Hacks 219, 
Game Boy Hacks 19, Game Boy Advance Hacks 5, Genesis Hacks 34, Game Gear 4, Super Mario World Hacks. You got a hundred of these. <laughs> awesome adventure. Oh, there's their video snaps for some of these. Nice. So, a lot of uh, Super Mario Worlds. You got the shutdown script on there, RetroPie menu. You got your cave collection, your CPS, your CP1, 2, and 3. And then you have all your, your, all your top hacks, 100s. And you have your NES Classic and your SNES Classic, the original. All right, now let's check out a track mode. All right, so here we are in a track mode. This looks different than, oh, because this is the nested, the nested a track mode. I, I don't think I've ever seen this theme with nested. So nested meaning that, you know, it's, a, it's a, like a web. You click into one and then it unlocks the next uh, then all the consoles within that. So, or consoles, it'll show all the consoles. Computers, it'll show all the computer systems. So I just hit computer, and now all these are computer-based gaming systems. The MSX, ScumVM, Sinclair, Amstrad, etc. I can go back, I go to the consoles, and then it'll be all my consoles. My Atari consoles, Vetrix, PC Engine, TurboGrafx, NES Classic, Nintendo 64, and then I can click into there and then be into the actual room of that particular game. Really nice a track mode. I like how the um, the console in the box art comes up. You go right to left to jump to different systems. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, I tell you. Really nice. So I'm just jumping between the different systems. I can go back though. I can go back a screen and then just jump to systems faster this way or go back two screens to the main screen and then maybe I want handhelds. And then this will be all my handheld systems. Go back again and then there's collections and these are all my collections. Beat em ups, Castlevania games, Darkstalkers games. Is there really that many Darkstalkers games? Oh, okay. 1996, 98, 94. Ah, okay, Marvel vs. Capcom is included. Very cool. Uh, all your Disney games, for example. This should be pretty big. You got Lion King, Little Mermaid, Donald Duck. You got Mickey Mouse. Some really there's actually some pretty good Mickey Mouse games out there. Mickey's Racing Adventure. Right? Mickey Speedway. Donkey Kong games, Earthworm Jim games, Frogger games. Like look how many Frogger games we have. Oop, I launched one. Well, this is good. We can see the launch screens. Man, that fly is fast. Got him. And then I died. All right, cool. So all the different frog games. Horror Collection. Killer Instinct Collection. So as you see, tons of... Wow, this, th this has a lot of themes in here. So track mode is pretty decked out. Hacked. PC games. Uh, a track mode setup. Let's see what he's got here. Okay, cool. So a lot of what you saw with Motion Blue version 6. Really cool to see all these scripts and everything. It looks great. Like, I have to say, he, he as far as the design, the design is, is amazing. The design is really great. And it's really quick, too, because there's not those big loading videos. Arcades. So, there you have it. Mr. Harris, bravo. Really nice stuff. I'm going to have to give this one an A. Um, you know, there's that little fix I had to do with adding the PC system config file. Really easy, though. And uh, it's amazing. i got to play with it some more. Maybe I'll find some stuff that's broken in it or whatever. But just right off the, off the bat, checking it out. It's gorgeous. I would totally put this in a bar top or on a big screen TV any day. Really nice. Um... Uh, you know, it's not trying to be something it's not. It's very, um, it's very close to what it's supposed to be as far as retro gaming. Like when I think of MAME arcade systems and I think of bar tops and arcade machines and, and retro gaming and the characters, it's totally filled with all that nostalgia. And it's got that kind of feel to it, the coin op feel, you know, the retro uh, console feel. So for all those reasons, I'm down. I'm liking it. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.